I'll quench the curiosity right away. It is made of glass. I didn't know this either. I saw a picture online of a broken trackpad and I looked it up and lo and behold, it's made of glass. The question though really is why is it made of glass? When the whole computer is made of aluminium, why is this one little thing made of glass? It's because they're obsessed with friction. They want your finger to slide as effortlessly as possible on the surface of the trackpad. Back when the first iPhone came out, they were such staunch believers of the capacitive display. And I remember looking this up as a kid. All Windows phones I knew back then used resistive displays, but Apple focused on the capacitive display. Touch screens were resistive touch. Yep. Resistive requires you to sort of deform the screen. You have to push it down. It's really tiring on your finger. So we need to do capacitive touch and has to be multi-touch. And Windows clearly thought that it's not very precise. You can't point exactly the right square centimeter and that's why you need a stylus. But Apple has consistently been focusing on capacitive displays which are not the most precise but are the most effortless to use. I used to own one of these HTC Windows Artemis phones. I really loved it back in the day because it was a big deal. But I even grew my nail up to a nice point in the corner so that I could type on the QWERTY keyboard. I could never do it with my thumb. But the small three, three and a half inch iPhone display, when I typed on it for the first time, it worked so well. It was really engineering the software and the hardware together and not in silos to make it work. And now even my Android phone, even if I don't hit the exact key, it knows what I'm talking about. So software does most of the heavy lifting because the hardware is not very precise. This marriage is what makes the user experience so good on Android devices and also on the Mac, turns out. Windows has a lot of catching up to do. On my work computer, there is also a small glass trackpad. But if I want to make a rather simple selection of selecting a few cells in Excel, as elegant and beautiful as this looks, it just doesn't work. But on the Mac side of things, although it's not such a precise hardware, the selection is so precise. If I move my finger a little faster, the selection speeds up and all of this in a span of a few centimeters. Maybe Windows should also embrace this Android approach of making a standard software for all their OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, but allowing their OEMs to customize it just a little bit for their device before rolling it out on their software. This will surely leverage the potential of glass trackpad. Until they do that, I think Mac computers will continue to remain the gold standard of user experience. Windows users will walk around with their computers and their wireless little mice because it doesn't work without it. Thank you so much for tuning into this one. I'll see you in the next one and Happy New Year.